What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes, and you coming, guys, with video right now. So, I want to go over some news uh, that came out from uh, ESPN's Chris Mortensen on Gardner Minshew, Jalen Hurts, and obviously this goes back to when Minshew took over the one game for the Jets, which really gave us a good win. Um, but so this is what Chris Mortensen had to say. So there has been some rumors about Gardner Minshew um, asking Nick Sirianni in his office. Um, pretty much the future of this quarterback position. Um, that if, you know, what is it going to take for him to be the starting quarterback for this team? So, quote unquote, that uh, Mortensen said on Sunday that Minshew went to the Eagles' head coach, uh, Nick Sirianni's office, after the Week 13 game, and asked what it will take him to earn the starting job going forward. Sirianni told Minshew it is not going to happen, and that the team is committed to Hurts for the remainder of the season. You know, uh, and I'm and I'm totally fine with that. Even before the bye week, I said, uh, you know, Jalen Hurts has to start. Um, you need to find out your long term answer. I know Minshew is pretty much a, a, a good passer, is more of a fluid passer than Hurts without really the huge athletic mobility. Um, but with Jalen Hurts, you got to find out what you have in him. He's a second round pick. Um, this guy has high ceiling if he could fix some of his flaws. At least we know now what flaws Jalen Hurts has, and the Eagles will know and the fans will know by next year if he is a starting quarterback in 2022. If we're seeing the same mistakes by week four or five, by week four or five of next season, you know, when things start, are starting not to change with this quarterback, then obviously the Eagles will have to make a move the year after that if that's the case. But, you know, Gardner Minshew did, kind of did the same thing when he was with the Jaguars, you know, a few years ago with a really bad roster. This is before they were going to, you know, uh, draft. They were going to draft a quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Um, and once that happened, uh, Gardner Minshew wanted out. He wanted that starting job in Jacksonville and, when, and really was never given the job. Uh, even though he did earn it and thought that they should have given him a chance they went to go draft a quarterback, and he pretty much wanted on the you know wanted to get out of Jacksonville. Howie Rosen traded uh, traded for Gardner Minshew, um, you know when preseason was going on, and uh, came in really late into the off season, and then finally got his shot versus the Jets, and that was pretty much it. Had a really good game, and then obviously it kind of split the fan base a little bit. Still kind of splits the fan base a little bit, but I would feel more comfortable if Jalen Hurts starts the rest of the year this way. I know what we have, and I we have a whole entire year with an off season with Jalen Hurts, see what he could do. And just to see the flaws and just to see if he could fix some of these areas that he needs to get better at. You know what I mean? So this is a second round pick. If he was a fourth round pick, then I really wouldn't care that much. But because he's a second round pick and he was drafted that high, you know, you have to see what you have in Jalen Hurts at the end of the day. So you know, kind of crazy, you know, you know, Minshew being a little aggressive, and which is, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe he didn't know the situation that well. He got traded there. He played a good game. And he said, you know what, maybe I could play. You know what I mean? I, I take that as like the Nick Foles situation. Had a really good year in 2017 with the Eagles. Won a Super Bowl, finished the season, and, you know, went to 2018 after Carson got hurt again. Uh, pretty much the injury that Carson had in 17 lingered into 18. And then actually had the, you know, the back injury um, on top of it. When she was benched, and Nick almost brought us to another NFC Championship game. Pretty much one catch away in that Saints game, and you could be back in the Super Bowl uh, pretty easily. Rams, and then face the Patriots back in the Super Bowl for round two. So, and he thought that, you know, I could be a starting quarterback again. And that's when he went to the Jaguars on that big contract, got hurt the first game, and Minshew took over, and that was pretty much it. So, you know, a lot to talk about here, a lot to think, you know, Garner Minshew you know, at least was trying to ask to see what the situation was, if there was any chance for the start. So we'll see what the Eagles could do the next couple of weeks. You know, two more games left on the schedule. Eagles have a big chance into this wild card run uh, to get there. They are in the wild card spot right now. So we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments section what do you guys think. Um, Garner Minshew, you know, just knowing the situation, you know, hurts is the guy right now. Um, a whole entire year. I don't care what it takes because I don't want to go into next year if we bench Hurts now and then we put Minshew in. And, you know, um, I didn't think Minshew was going to – I thought Minshew was going to play in that last game against the Giants. I thought they were going to bench Hurts because that first half was really bad. Uh, I didn't know how long it was going to take, but, you know, her, uh, you know, uh, Jalen Hurts came back and with some really good throws and had a really good second half, a good solid second half for the Eagles in that offense. So, other than that, guys, pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later. Shakes what up? Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.